so that and after the presentation I will put it on YouTube and send everybody a link so if you miss something or worry that you didn't write something down quick enough you just be able to go on and, and look at it at your at your leisure the second item to, uh, to make sure you're aware of is there is a, a, a box or a screen somewhere on your on your monitor that has a question area throughout the presentation as you if you have questions and as they arise uh, just type them into the box I see them and um, we'll answer them at the end or if it's something that's that's critical and it needs immediate attention well I certainly interrupt Brandon and and we can attend to it right away um, we are fortunate again tonight to have Brandon Schaefer uh, whose resume is quite long and uh, he would be very embarrassed if I went over it suffice it to say when it comes to how to increase business via social media he is well well experienced so without any further ado we'll turn it over to Brandon the floor is yours uh, thank you so much Dave I hope everybody can hear me and like you said we are live so and I'm going to do some toggling be um, along with this with this presentation I have I'll jump to actual Facebook and I'll show you some behind the scene tips and stuff like that so just bear with me as I flip through screens again uh, this is on the fly live so it's nothing that's uh, pre-recorded or anything else so uh, Facebook right so everybody has a business um, and if most most likely if you're on here you 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 have a business or you're thinking about opening up a business right but all you hear is the success stories on Facebook like XYZ company is crushing on Facebook um, this company's doing this this company's doing that so naturally when you go to Facebook you you go to Facebook and you think that your company is going to do the same but Facebook is very it's it's there's so much um, competition on there and there's so many people posting so much that it's very very difficult to get traction right so I always say persistence wears down resistance so the number one thing always be persistent always get a plan right failing the plan is planning to fail before you just jump into Facebook before you jump into anything in business get a napkin out go over with somebody go over with a score mentor go, go over with the with a friend that may maybe will provide you some some guidance because they have some experience get a plan together don't just don't just jump in there and act because you may find yourself wasting some time and a lot of money so you always want to um, just get that plan and think about it and and get, get a strategy in place before you jump in so like Dave said tonight we're gonna go over kind of Facebook um, and how to use it to get more customers um, increase your revenues um, get more sales get more exposure become the authority in business all that type of stuff. Uh, so the first thing you want to do I really split it up into like five simple steps right um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to set up a Facebook business page right I don't know how many people have businesses and they're running their business off of their personal page you don't want to for for your business unless it's behind the scenes look unless you're an education center you don't want to have um, be posting pictures of yourself in at, 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 at the beach um, you know with with all different types of drinks or food anything else like that unless you're in the drink and food industry right then it'd be a different story but you want to you want to make a presentable business page right so you got to go if you don't have one yet you go to Facebook you, you can just Google Facebook business page go in there there's tons of guides it's very simple it's going to ask you what type of business you are so forth it takes about 30 seconds to create a page so that's the first thing that you want to do always take it take that take the personal page away from your business for the wedding for the um, kids grandkids whatever um, but definitely separate that to those two it's very very important with the personal page um, you're going to have limits to advertising as well. So let me go to the next slide here uh, and just give you a good example of a Facebook business page. So this is Wired. 
All right. So Wired is a, I guess it's very similar to Entrepreneur. It's very similar to Fast Company. It's kind of like techie, entrepreneur stuff like that. So for your Facebook business page, you can see you, you have a big um, top image across. Make it appealing so when someone goes there, um, they actually are kind of drawn in a little bit. This is a good one, and that's why I picked it, all right? You also see under the image here the, the uh, Learn More button, right? So when you have a business page, you can actually do that, and it says Learn More. People can click through and learn more. You also have your logo in the top left corner, all right? So this is, this is the structure of a business page, and I'll go over this with you when I toggle into the live screen as well. The second piece is, right? So when you, when, once you have your business page, take advantage of every single opportunity there is to fill in every area of your Facebook page. It's, there's an about, you know, if I toggle back here, you'll see on the left-hand side, you can fill in an, an about page, you can upload videos, you can share your events, your photos, your posts. There's so much that you can, that, 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 so there's so much information that you can enter in there, and it's and you can stuff those with keywords that are um, that are relevant to your market segment, right? So again, you want to take advantage of every single area that you can fill out your business hours, your business location. Make sure your address matches exactly as it does in in, in your Google Business account, right? Because all this stuff is syncing up. So if you have Suite 106 spelled S-U-I-T-E 106. Um, make sure it's not STE 106 on one. You want to keep it um, synced across every single channel identically the same. It will help you out. Uh, so um, when I was going over the important elements here, again, this is Entrepreneur's Facebook page, right? So I'm just on their About section here. And as you can see, they have their mission statement. They, they have their contact info, right? They have their link to their website, right? Link juice. Okay. You also have the company overview, general information with, with their actual twi with their Twitter handle, um, products they sell, their story. You know, they, they have Instagram. You can you can link your Instagram account to your Facebook account, and again with videos, events, all all those types of things. The third thing you want to do is you you've got the business page right. You filled out all the information, and the 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 third thing is you need to start sharing information. Right now, information isn't how great my company is. The information is what what we do, what your company is going to do, which is going to help make the company, our client, aka our client, do better in business. So anything that we talk about, we want to make sure that what we're doing is helping improve any information that we share. We want it to be, to, to be helpful, we want it to be useful, we want it to be relevant, and we want it to be engaging to the person that's reading it. Because Facebook is a cocktail party, right? Everybody's at the party, you're, you're, you're browsing through your feed, and oh, Aunt Sally, Uncle Joe, Uncle Chas, oh, there's, there's Cousin Ricky, you know, so forth, right? And then all of a sudden, you see a, an ad or something. You, you see some strange post, like, about some business. It doesn't work like that. So just understand before, and this is what this goes into planning, right? Understand, get in the psychology of someone using Facebook. Like when you're browsing Facebook, go through there tonight and browse through and just see how things flow. So when you post something, you want to make sure it's in the flow of your audience. You don't want to get a sledgehammer out and start whacking away here, right? Don't even exhale and stop chopping down the tree. You want to help grow the, the plants around that tree. And the way you do that is by sharing useful information. So here's an example. A recent law change in, in, in the mortgage industry, right? So you, you know that your audience is, is mostly in, in, in the mortgage industry. So you, if you could, you could maybe say something about the law change. Hey, this law changed. And this is what this is how our service can help you streamline that process around that law, right? Because typically when laws change, it costs businesses a lot of money. So if you can be out in front of all that and you can understand that, hey, this law changed, and you can be one of the first ones, it's tough to be the first one with news outlets and stuff like that. But if you could be the first company in your area to to adopt this and actually present a viable solution, 
it gives you an advantage. So when so so when Joe, the owner of XYZ company, is browsing through his Facebook feed, and we know that he's the CEO of a mortgage company, right? When he browses through his he sees, oh, law changed. All right. That's kind of how it works. So always keep it helpful, useful, relevant, and engaging. And again, sharing is good. So this is Fast Company's page. All right. It tech, another big company in the, in the tech space, entrepreneur space, um, everything along these lines. Everybody reads this. Well, most people, most, most people in the tech world kind of stay, stay in touch with Fast Company. But look at the headline here. This is how to get hired at Facebook. Right. If there is a headline, right, first of all, you're, you're on Facebook, right? So you're already engaged with Facebook. Now, if you're reading Fast Company, you're most likely a tech, engineer, coder, something else like that, right? Entrepreneur. Who doesn't, who, who, who doesn't want to know how to get hired at Facebook? I know, I know that some people are like, oh, you must be crazy, whatever. But this gets a lot, a lot of traffic. So you always want to make sure your headline is engaging. I don't know the exact stats, but a lot of people will just actually read the headline, right? So if your headline is some boring piece, um, it's, it's not a lot of people are going to click through. There's such a small percentage. Most people will just click, click the headline or, they, or they, they, they won't even click the headline. They'll just read the headline and then the summary underneath. So those two things, you got to have a strong headline, right? And then a strong summary with what you share. So again, with this one, it's not easy to make the cut, but there's one thing Facebook hires all have in common. Boom, right? You, it, it's, it's so easy. You're gonna click through the article, you're gonna see one thing that they all have in common. The shorter, the better. The, and I say this again, the shorter, the simpler, the better. Just co come right out and say what you want in the headline. Um, questions work very, very well on Facebook. So if you, if you pose a question, or say, let, let's go back to that mortgage example. So instead of maybe posting something on mortgage, you could say, hey, how has this law affected you? Or, or, or are you being affected by the new legislation or this law or whatever else like that in the, in the mortgage? Questions do incredible, in, in really, really well on Facebook for, for engagement. So it's not only about posting your, your information, you, you can use it to ask questions as well. Um, this piece is, you gotta set up a Facebook ads manager account, all right? And I know we're, this is a little bit more advanced, but if you have a business page, right? In order to get traction on Facebook, you need to have, well, I'm not, gonna, I'm, I'm not here to tell you anything that, 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 that you need to have, I'm just gonna share my experience with you. Years ago, you, you, it was, you were able to, or a business was able to, use Facebook and get a pretty decent audience and engagement. It is very difficult today without delivering ads to get a lot of traction. Yes, you, you have those one hit wonders with the funny video or, or some type of video, somebody crying or, or something else like that. Those are great. I get sucked into those all day long or audience clapping. I saw the North Carolina kid was at school at 8, 8.30 in the morning after he hit the winning shot um, this past week. On, uh, su on Sunday night, he hit the winning shot, 8.30 in the morning. He was in class. The video was on. I watched the video. It was awesome. So stuff like that. That's a one-hit wonder, right? It's not something that's going to go. It, it, it spreads like wildfire, stuff like that. But for you, as the, as the small business owner, small to mid-sized business owner, right, you need to get traction. And the way to get traction is by delivering ads. So once you have the business account, you need to set up the Facebook ads account. And I'm gonna to toggle to that screen in a second too. I'm just getting through. I've got about two or three more slides and then let's get to some live action. All right, so this is where you sign up for ads, for, for, uh, ads manager, right? You can create and run your ads. Um, there's something called Power Editor, right? Where you, can, where you can get very, very detailed with how you actually deliver your ads. You can set up your budget. You can give different people access to run your ads, right? So if you're starting a company and you're not really savvy in Facebook yet, because you're actually working on your business, not work, not not kind of doing all the Facebook and all all, the, all this small stuff, and you hire somebody, right? You can give them access. Or if your cousin in college knows a little bit about it, or something else like that, or you hire an intern, you can give them access to handle 
your your ad account for you. So you would you you give me access or somebody access. They'd go in there. They'd run ads for you. It would go on your budget on your, on, on on your credit card, and um, it makes life a lot easier for you. And final step: use detailed targeting, right? I.e., behaviors in your Facebook ads, right? So we can get very, very detailed with who we're delivering ads to, right? So if we want to, if we want to hit CEOs in Manhattan, New York, with greater than 50 employees, we can get that specific. There is no other, there, any other platform that will allow you to deliver a message or get a message in front of an audience um, with that precise of 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 a degree, all right. And Twitter does the same. I know we're not we're not doing this on Twitter, but Twitter has. If you run Twitter ads, um, they have behaviors as well. And again, I'll show you this in a second. So this is the behavior screen, and you can see here are a bunch of different behaviors. You can run it by anniversary, by automobile. Uh, business of business, charitable donations. If you if 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 you're in a nonprofit, or if you're in a if 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 you own a nonprofit, or you're running a nonprofit, or you're doing some type of mentorship program, and you want to get in front of charitable donations or other charitable do donations, you can actually get in front of them. Um, digital activities. Are they on a cell phone? What what type of device? Um, title of of a person by CEO by company size, by how much they spend when they're online, all different types of information. So I'm gonna to toggle to this in a second. All right, so close, to close out these slides and get down to the real stuff that I love, people want to talk to people, right? Engage with them in authentic conversation on Facebook, especially on Facebook. On Twitter, you can get away with them more, bang, 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 on, um, on some of the other social channels as well. But on Facebook, again, remember, you're dealing with people looking at family pictures, family information. Relate to that. If what you share has a picture of a mother holding a baby, that works just as well, right? So we're, we're not selling either. So we're not, we're not doing a sales job here, right? We're doing what we call a soft sale. So we're just, we're just providing information which is actually going to lead us to a further conversation, which in the end is going to lead us to a sale, all right? And by doing this, we can become the authoritative resource in your niche, right? And sales will naturally increase that way. So what we're trying to do, organic growth here, right? And ads will help us do that. So, all right, let me try to switch over here and see what I can get to. So give me one second and I will, Switch in. All right, so hopefully everybody can see my screen here. So this is Young Entrepreneur, another great magazine. So I've, I've gone over four or five different sites here. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur.com, wired.com, youngentrepreneur.com, uh, Fast Company. These are all great, great sites for entrepreneurs. There's a ton of resources on them. Um, but for this reason, I just want to kind of show you the actual site in, in real time and how it goes. Right, so you have here sign up. So again, if I want to sign up to to their actual email list, you can sign up. Right, that's a link. What? How? how I don't know how much better it can get than that. That's the whole thing. Once you get, once you, once you can get them on, once you can get a person who's qualified and interested in your information on your email list, at least you can deliver them information in the future. They're opting in. Right, they need to opt in. So this is a great way to have that happen. I talked about the about section, right? So again, founded in 1999, the call number. People are on their phone looking for something and they go to Facebook and type in restaurant, this, that, you know. This is the type of stuff that's gonna to start to come up. Photos, behind the scenes photos. If you have a business, especially in manufacturing or you, you make a product or something, go behind the scenes, shoot video. You know, do all, all different types of stuff like that. Short form video, 30-second uh, video, 60-second uh, video, what, whatever it is, and post it here. Events, upcoming events. I mean, 
this is awesome. Look at it. April 7th, 95 guests online. Get tickets. Uh, Instagram. Again, you're linking to your to, to all your accounts here, right? So this is their Instagram feed. Videos. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna knock off that because I don't want the noise to blow your ears out. But um, reviews, right? So everyone's looking for for types of reviews. There, if you people focus on building a website, which is which is great. But if you don't have the initial investment to build a website, you know, I think you get a half decent website for maybe I don't know. With, with working with somebody, maybe. I, I I don't know. I don't want to say any numbers, but um, but this if you don't want to invest in the website because you want it to look like Walmart's or or or, or Target's uh, what, what, what web website and it's going to just spite and you've gotten quoted way too much, go to Facebook, fill in every single piece of information, push people to your page, it will work. All right, your likes, who likes you, you can kind of see who's who's been on here, who's doing what, um, posts. Again, this is a post for the day. Because uh, this this is 32 p.m. is that is that today? No, this isn't today. Um, this is from five minutes ago. Um, you can kind of see three hours ago. You can see their posting schedule. These guys post about every three hours. You can see your six, nine. You see these hour these these hour points. What I'm doing. So so they're on a three hour uh, posting schedule. I think that's a little much. For somebody, I would recommend posting maybe one to three times a day to start out. All right. Um, notes. So if you ever want to um, blog, but you don't have a, or, or you you write content, but you don't actually have a blog, go right into notes, and this can be your blog. This can actually be your blog here. So you just hit notes. Nobody, no, not a lot of people use this, but it's very very good to use. So this can be actually be your actual post where people can go pop and and uh, comment so you actually do have a blog if you have Facebook you have everything that you need to be successful you they they made it dummy proof they have everything that you need um, that that you'd have in, a, in an actual normal website all right so let me click over to the ads manager. I'm going to spend like three or four more minutes and then we'll wrap up and do questions. I know there's probably some questions and stuff like that. So this is just a simple view of uh, ads manager, right? So this is where you're going to deliver the ads. So you can set your objective, which is like reach. Um, I don't want to click on it because it has some personal information behind there. But um, I'll stay on this screen here. Um, objective. So you could go for reach. Um, you could go for for engagement, you could go for all different types of, of, of there's different selections that you can make on what, you, on what your goal of your campaign is, conversions, stuff like that, all right? Um, so if we go, you can pick location, right? So again, I'll, I'll just pick the location, and I will type in New York. New York. Let's see what comes up. New York, New York. Right, Manhattan. That's New New York City here. Right, New York, New York. Okay, you can see here um, within a 25 mile radius. Okay, or I can go down. I can go up. So this is in circumference to to New York. What area I want to hit? I can pick age. Right. So who am I delivering these ads to? Right. I can go 23. Typically, I go. Uh, 25 to or 45. It depends on what the it depends on what your target market is. So um, we're kind of all over the place, and for customers, we deliver ads all over the place. So uh, all men, women. If you're selling women, women stuff, um, and you want to sell them, and they typically women between the age of 45 and 65 uh, buy this item, then great. Or or if you have a coaching service or something that you do, and you want to sell to women that are CEOs of companies located in New York. Women, they speak English. Um, their title is CEO. And you'll see CEO job titles. Look at this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How. So this is going to hit women between the ages of 45 to 64, 64 years old within 19 miles of Manhattan, New York, with the title CEO, right? 
I don't know. I really don't know what other what other advertising outlet will let you deliver specific ads to this specific set of people. If you go to advertise on TV and I don't, it's super expensive and it's tough because you don't know who's watching the TV. Here, you're actually delivering ads to to a very very highly targeted audience. Um, so I will. I will end on that note, um, just in kind of closing here, get the page, get a business page. If you're running your business off your personal page, it's time to, it's time to convert. Get, get a business page, get a, right? Get, get a, um, get, fill in all your details, get a Facebook ads account, and then start testing and delivering some ads. Um, and that's really it for me. So Dave, if you want to hand it over, I'll answer any questions. I'll show live demos. I just can't show any personal information on the computer screen. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Very, very good. Yep. Very informative. We do have some questions coming in. I'm sure there will be more. Um, let me get to that screen. Okay. Um, first question comes in, um, will this be a good place to advertise fundraiser and events? Yes. And the reason why I say that, I, I know a woman who does, who's, who, who actually reached out to me, through score actually. Um, I know a woman, she does, your, and Dave, you, you might be familiar. Um, familiar with her as well. She does yoga sessions that raise money for awareness and stuff like that for, for different things in um, beer, um, what do you call those things? They, they do the, the um, they're, they're real popular now. They do all the, they, the beer, beer distri distributor, not the beer distributor, the place where they make all the beer. I don't know. But so, <laughs> breweries. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brewery. Brewery. Yeah. They have these big open spaces in breweries. So they would do some yoga. Then they'd have some wine or beer or whatever, and they'd have, do a big fundraiser. So yeah. But you would need to for 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 something like that. The more specific and smaller you make your audience, the much better you're going to be. You don't want to be delivering that ad to people that aren't going to be it. So you would want to have your age bracket maybe. 55 and live in Fox County, Pennsylvania, even if you can get a town that like, right? So let's see, let's see if we can narrow down on something. What, what's the topic? What was the topic, Dave? Well, it was fundraising? Fundraising was, was, was the main part of that, yes. Okay, so fundraising. So you can see right here, right? I go to fundraising. So I can hit people in Bucks County, right, between a certain age, women or men, that are interested in fundraising, right? So that means, hey, they, they might be interested, they, they, they might donate money, and they might actually be in fundraising and maybe be able to help you spread the word. So yeah, 100%. Okay, great, thanks. I hope that answers your question, uh, Trina. So Alan asked a question. Um, when I had an ad, when I had an ad, Facebook refused to show it. They didn't give me a reason. However, I learned that it was because I had too much text. What are the do's and don'ts for the ads? Okay. All right. Okay. I get you. Okay. So this is probably one of the biggest questions that everybody that every, everybody asks. Um, in Facebook, your ad, your actual image cannot have more than, I think it's 20, or they, they're getting a little more lenient on this, but more than 20% or 25% text coverage, right? So your ad cannot have, you can't have something with a bunch of text on there. It has to be only, I think it's, if you stay about 20% text, I think you'll be okay. Let me, um, let me see here, Facebook, uh, ad uh, picture, uh, text to picture size. Text overlay size. I'll see if I can get something here real quick. Um, text yeah. overlay tool. So okay, 20, so, so there's actually... Go ahead. 20% rule, I think, is the... Yeah. So if you go... What I just did, text overlay tool, and you go here, you can upload your photo, and it will give you the test. Okay, it will give you the test. So if you type in... 
Um, I don't know the, the exact your text overlay tool, Facebook text overlay tool. And you go here, um, you can upload your image and it will tell you if it's okay or not. And then you can run that, that, that actual image. But that happens all the time because people want to fill the whole picture with like edge to edge text and stuff like that. So just keep your text at like 20 or 25% and you'll be fine. Great. Uh, thank you. Um, so another question is how much does Facebook charge? Uh, and that's the great thing about Facebook, Brandon. Yeah. Okay. So Facebook to run an, to to run ads is all different. You can be you can really be all all over the field. If you it depends on what type of campaign you're running, um, but you can you can expect to pay anywhere uh, on an ad basis depending upon your market. Uh, you could pay uh, up to uh, 10, 15 cents to um, a, a couple dollars per, um, per, per click through. Um, but if you're, you don't want to get involved in heavily um, trafficked um, words and, 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 and areas, like you, you, you're not trying to sell popcorn to the world here. You want to be very, very specific, right? Be very specific. So someone who's looking for a Western riding saddle um, leather cleaner, you know, like stuff like that. You want to get very, very specific with your campaigns. Don't make your campaign too broad. So you, the best thing I can say in terms of ads is going in there and doing some testing with the ads, and you'll see. It, but they're all over the place. They're completely all over the place. Okay. Uh, the next question, what is the difference between a post boost and an actual ad? Okay. Ah. Uh, I don't know the exact. These are numbers. I didn't know the the entire um, reasoning behind Facebook. The boost is kind of like an easy way just to quickly go in there and deliver an ad. Okay, so it's really the same. When you boost it, you're delivering an actual. You're 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 boosting that post. Okay, um, so you need to actually post something on on your page. Okay, so you would go to your page, your Facebook page, and you would go to, uh, here, let me click over. Click over, okay. Click here. Ah, okay. So you would actually go to your page, and where it says update, or whatever it says there, you would go in there, and then you'd, you'd put your post there. You'd upload a picture or whatever else, or if you put a link in there, it's auto going to generate, and then you go boost post. That's just going to boost that actual post. Right, so you can drive traffic to that. So if you're hosting an event and you want to boost that post, you can just hit boost post. You can pick your audience and deliver it. When you have an ad, right, you can deliver an ad, but the whole audience, the only person that's going to see that ad is the person you're delivering it to, that audience you set up. So when you boost a post, everybody's going to see that because it's actually on your timeline. It's on your main timeline. So you're scrolling through, right? Um, so, but you can deliver, so that's a boosted post. So when you post something to your timeline and then you post it, everybody's going to see that post, but you're just boosting it to like extend your reach right on your timeline. When you deliver ads, I can be delivering 10 ads right now and you may not even know it. You, you're not going to see those ads on there because all of my ads are going to specific targeted segments that I set up. So that's really the, I hope that made a little bit of sense to you. If it doesn't, uh, Dana, you know, type me a note. Yeah, and listen, Dave. Anybody yeah. who's anybody who's on here, if they have any questions, leave a note. I'll personally give them a demo. I can go through and give them, a, you know, I'll spend some time with each one of them. Um, I don't know how many people are on here, but I, I'm sure I'm sure we can make it through them all. Um, but anybody that wants personal demonstration, I'll log into your account with you. I'll go through it. I'll, sh I'll show you around. I'll take the time. I'm a score mentor as well. So uh, I'll, I'll be more than happy to do that. So if I'm not covering it today or I'm going fast or too slow or not showing you stuff because I don't want to show private information on the on the screen, um, I'll definitely spend some time with you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I have the uh, next question. I have a Facebook business page. I haven't posted on it for months. What's the best way to jump back in and begin posting? Well, just start. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's the number one thing. It's 
it's, I was talking to my friend the other day with uh, he, he he used to run all the time. He stops running and he goes, I want to start running four, four. I want to come right out and start running four or five miles. I said, just run around the block once. Just get started. So get warmed up. Don't don't be afraid just because you didn't do it in a while. It's it's, it's not a big deal. Find something. Um, fi find something relevant to your audience. And I don't know what market segment you're in, but I'll be more than happy to talk with you. Um, but find something relevant to your audience, even something big in the, in the news that's, that, that, that's actually related, and just post it. When you post something to your page, it doesn't have to be something that you created. A lot of times, you, like 60, 70, 80% of the time, it's something that somebody else created. Like, hey, I found this helpful, and, and, I, think you, I, and I think you may too. That's why I posted it, like those types of things. So just grab something and post, but don't be afraid. Just start. I would say just once a day, just post something. If you don't have a business page or you haven't posted your, uh, to, to your business page in a long time, just post once a day. That's it. Just commit to yourself. It takes five minutes. Do it, and you'll get, and you'll get used to it. Yeah, good. And, and I just want to jump in and amplify what Brandon said. It's a very important point. I, I think sometimes we get, we get to thinking that we, we should only be posting about our specific company our specific business, our specific product. But you need to go beyond that. You know, what's new in the industry, new new discoveries, new trends, something that's of general interest that, again, as Brandon said, that, that your audience would find interesting and compelling. It builds your brand. Okay. Uh, next question. Um, don't you pay if people click on it? Are you able to just pay a fee so that it shows up in a feed for a set cost and not have to pay if mm -hmm. tons of people click? Yeah, and that's what that's the type of campaigns that we usually run. They're called reach campaigns, R-E-A-C-H, reach campaign, right? So that goes, you pay per certain, per thousand uh, views. So it might be, uh, you know, five dollars and eight hundred p or fifteen hundred people or two thousand people will see it as they're browsing through 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 their feed. It's called a reach campaign, and um, that's exactly it's kind of exactly it says it's reaching out, so sending out um, how many people see that. But you have to be careful with that too because a lot of people, you, you know, how fast you you browse through Facebook. You're on your phone most of the time, click, click, click. You know, browsing up, browsing up, browsing up. So you want to make sure that image is something catchy, something funny, something unique, something bright, something different, something beautiful, whatever. Um, so you you just want to make sure that if you're if you're running a reach campaign, you better have a good title, right? A really catchy title, um, and then you you're going to want to have a good picture. Thank you. Um, we have a few more questions. Yeah. I've been, po I have posted questions in the, I, wait a minute. Uh, I've been, um, I have posted questions in the past to try to get feedback and I don't even get an answer from anyone. <laughs> you won't. You, 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 you won't. The best thing you can do, you're in the right place at the right time because if you have any questions, I will, I'll make sure if you run them through SCORE, I will make sure that, I, again, I spend personal time with you. I'll give you my personal email. You can go through. I will answer any questions you have um, to do with Facebook. It's very tough. The resources are very, very difficult. It's, it's not easy to um, get set up because you're Googling something and then you see people complaining right that's what most of the, that's what most of the stuff is when you google like how to set this up there's there's 50 percent 60 percent complaining oh i don't know how to do this and there's 40 percent trying to solve it so you're better off getting one solid resource that can help you out and um yeah i, I definitely say find somebody who who kind of knows facebook who you can bounce stuff off of um it's tough they're a huge company it's going to be very difficult to get an answer back okay uh, Ellen asks, I've been posting three days a week. Is that too little? Uh, I would say, <laughs> these are phenomenal. You guys are the best, man. You guys are great. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So what I recommend, if, if you're a small business, is posting one to three times a day. One to three times a day. 
And that doesn't mean that you need to spend all day, right? Because there's posting tools that you can use that you could set up your post in the morning. And, or you can even do it on Facebook. You can go in and say, hey, post this at 9, 9.30 a.m. Post this at 12.30 p.m. Post this at 7.30 p.m. Again, because, and the, and the only reason why I say that is because you got to imagine people are browsing through their Facebook feed. That they have, what, 200, 300 friends? To, they, they have what, whatever, um, however many they have on there, 100 or 50 or, or 20. They're all posting stuff too. So as they're browsing through, if you post once every three days, the chance that your um, content is going to get seen is very, very little. And Facebook also doesn't show everybody. When you post something, Facebook doesn't show that to everybody, right? So just because you post doesn't mean if you have 100 friends and you post something, Facebook doesn't show that to all 100 of your friends. They do some mysterious stuff behind the scenes and say, I think this is going to match these people the best. So maybe 30 of you, is there only you, so your reach automatically goes down. So instead of being 100, it might go down to 30 right out of the gate. And then out of that 30, how many people were actually browsing through at the time when to see your article or, or whatever you post or your picture? So one to three times a day, I definitely recommend. Three times a week um, would be a little, it, 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 I don't think that's enough to get any real traction. But if you're having success with it, you know, stick with it. But otherwise, um, definitely one, at least once a day minimum. Good. Um, is there a fee for a boosted post? 100%. Anything, anything that has boosted post, 100% has a fee. Ads, 100% have fees. You could put, you could put something on your timeline. You could post something to, to, to your timeline. And you can put a dollar behind it, as low as a dollar, right? And that's going to extend your reach to maybe 200, to, to be, be, probably between like 200 and 400 people. Well, then maybe not even that many. Maybe between like 100 and 200 additional people will see that. So outside of your market, if you just put a dollar behind it, if you post something, put a dollar behind it, you're going to extend your reach outside of your friends, above and beyond your friends, to probably additional 100, to 100, to 100, to 100, to 200 people. It does cost money. The, the, the more you pack, it's like a water spigot. The, when you turn that water spigot on, you're going to get activity. When you turn that water spigot off, you stop paying, you get, the activity is going to stop. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I did a boost. What's in reach? I did a boost. What's the difference between reach and click action? I had 600 uh -huh. plus reach but only 23 click slash action. Okay. So that's pro that's really not that that's again, we're talking about statistics here, but to run a campaign, 600 people saw 23 people um, click through. So that means 600 people saw that ad out of that six, out of that 600, 23 people actually clicked on the link or clicked on the picture. So I don't have my calculator in front of me, but if you're running, um, it's you know, like four percent. Yeah, that's. I mean, you you want to be a little bit higher, but um, for advertising and and e e email, you're right on target. That's probably that's probably not too bad. Now, I would be interested to know what your ad spend was, how 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 targeted. And don't you don't need to go over it right now. But uh, if I talk to you offline. I'd like to know what the ad spend was and what, what that cost you for the 600. And then did any of those people that click through convert? Because the big difference is just having somebody click through, if you're, if you're 18 years old, and, but you're selling handkerchiefs to 50-year-olds, and an 18-year-old is clicking through, um, that's, not your, that, that's not very good, right? Because they're not in your target market. So you want to get real specific. Yeah, but I mean, I agree in general. Four or five percent is 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 nothing to, uh, you know. That's that's not bad. You know? Yeah, yeah. But the, the, we always got to focus. Listen, everybody on here, focus on conversions. Yeah. That means the sale. How who's clicking through? Because we can do campaigns and run stuff and get clicks and and everything else and get click throughs. We don't. We want. We know we need clicks because clicks. Get you one step closer to the checkout button, or or to that engagement, or that 15-minute conversation you want to have. But focus on getting sales. Whenever you're running ads, focus on what's going to take this person through the lead funnel, the sales funnel, so that we can deliver them and and actually sell them. Right. So keep that. Always keep that in mind. 
you always always start at the end, work your way backwards, and think of that running ads. Good. Um, so let's see. We we did that one. I'm just narrowing things down. Um, uh, this is another this is another sixty four thousand dollar question. My posts don't get many likes or comments. How do I get people involved in my posts? Uh, <laughs> Great question. Yeah. Tough answer. Yeah, yeah. You stumped me. You stumped me. you did it. Every every one of these we do, there's one question that stumps me. If yeah, yeah. Um I would say the stuff that you're probably sharing is not resonating with your the audience you're sharing it with, right? Um, it, maybe you change up your message a little bit, or maybe you share information um, that's uh, just switch stuff up. I, I'd say this though: the best thing for for whoever answered, asked this question, the best thing you you're winning with this because you know what doesn't work. And the faster you know what doesn't work, stop doing that as fast as possible and, and try something else. But the thing is, you need to, you in, in, with this Facebook stuff, you need to try, 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 test, 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 fail, 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 win, win, win. You know, win, we, you, you win one, you lose two. You win three, you lose one. You, you win three. You know, so the, fat, the more you test, like, this isn't this isn't like lightning striking here. You you need to test so much, so so many different types of different things. So if you try something, and that's that's why posting one to three times a day is good because you can get a good feel within a thirty day period or two week period of what's working. And once you find out what's working, what's what's actually resonating with your with your audience, if you post them motivational posts, like those are real big on Facebook, but you post a motive some, something motivational with a beautiful picture behind it or something, those get shared. Um, so just 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 post a bunch of different stuff, find out which works, and go with it. Yeah, and don't don't forget to always look at your competitors. What are they posting? What are they? Do they have some particular posts that get a lot of likes? So see what they're up to um, as as well, because you can get some hints from them. Uh, let's see. I think. Uh, give me my post. Don't get many likes. We did that one. Um, what are I going to announce when it post? If I use notes for my blog. Instead of adding it to my website, how would others know to look there, or do I announce it when I post to notes? Okay, what can you read that one to me one more time? Yeah. So they're posting. So so, so 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 somebody leaves a comment. No, I if I use notes, okay. notes okay. for my blog. Yeah. Instead yeah. of adding it to my website, how do mm -hmm. others know to look there? Or do I announce it when I post it to notes? Uh, you can announce it. If you have an email list, you can announce it that way. Yeah. Or you can go on Facebook and share the post. It has a link. So you can grab it share, and share the post. You can put pictures in those notes, everything else like that. It, it, will, it, it, it will populate a link for you, right? And then um, you can share it out the same way that you share it out on your blog post. So when you share something out on your, on your blog, typically, you'd... Um, grab the link and then you'd go to Facebook and post it in Facebook and the picture auto populates and you'd put a little header or something, you know, like, hey, new blog post on uh, this or that, you know, stuff like that. So you just use your notes as um, your blog and share and share out the link yep. to, to yep. your actual notes. But yep. when people are on Facebook, what's, what's great about notes is as you want to keep people on Facebook. Right, you want if they're on Facebook, you don't want them clicking out of Facebook and then back in and out because it gets it gets a little confusing. So, the way you can keep them on Facebook and just be fluid within Facebook is always best, and that's why I recommend Notes. And then Facebook kind of I don't want to say they give preference to Notes and stuff like that, but it is their own tool, it is their own platform. I'm sure there's something going on behind the scenes that might give you a little a little bit of an edge. Great. Yeah. Okay. Definitely put it on Facebook because you, the, the driving people to your website, and that can't be a bad thing. 
Yeah. And Dave, well, listen, well, I, I, I just, I, I'll, I'll finish yeah. up on that topic. Post to, don't be afraid to post, to post to your blog like you normally do, and then cut and paste, go over, cut and paste, and do a note. Do, do you, you can actually do a summary in notes, and then cut and paste the majority of your blog posts that you wrote on your actual blog in your notes as well. So you can kind of cross post. It's the same thing with LinkedIn. So your post, take, you can go cut, cut and paste your whole entire post as long as it's got to be your own information though because you don't, you, you don't ever want to copy other people's information and post that. If you write your content, post it on, and you post it to your blog, go over to notes, post the same content there, go over to LinkedIn, post it there, right? Um, so you can do, do the same type of thing. Just make sure it's your own content or you cite it properly 100%. Okay, um, we have time. There's a one more. Uh, there's two more that we need. I, I would like to address. Can I, I think this Craig means? Can you talk to where I find reach versus promote page versus ad manager? I think that I'll send. If you can save his his name, Dave, I will. Um, I'll put together a little video on that, or, or I can I can show notes because it's too confusing to go over. It's just, okay. I'm even I'm confused. It's going to be too confusing to explain, but I, I will make sure you get your explanation, uh, Craig. Yeah, just uh, Brandon, if you put something together, email it to me, and yeah. I'll I'll take care of getting. Make sure Craig gets okay. it. Okay. Um, this is an interesting one. Hello, my name is whatever. I'm an independent contractor for Magical Vacation Planner, uh, Personal Vacation Planner, All Disney Vacations, mm -hmm. uh, etc. Is this something that would be beneficial for me to use? Also, can we schedule time to set up my business page? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I could definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. I'd say the first. The these are tough. Yes, I'll answer the last question first. 100%. I'll, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, the, the beginning of that question is, if you don't own the actual um, URL to that site, so a lot of these sites, the, the, the affiliate sites, um, it's tough to advertise, and they have rules with that, um, too, what, what you can advertise, what, what type of stuff you can do. So I'd say just, I think it works for your market, or I don't think. I know you can work it to, to, to your market. I know that market segment is very high cost to actually market to, right? If you're getting that specific, because there's a there's a bunch of huge travel agents that are doing that now. You you may even be competing against the company you're actually working for, um, but yeah. But I think your ad cost will be very very um, high. Um, so it's a I don't know if it would be a very um, cost effective to run on Facebook but I think if we talked offline we could figure out a lot there but just first thoughts I think the ad cost is going to be too high for that market segment because it's so competitive that's one of the most competitive spaces um, there is with Disney and stuff but it's something that we can definitely get set up uh, several people have asked about uh, getting in touch with you Brandon or do we yeah. can they talk to you about mentoring uh, yeah, and, and I put this. I think everyone can see this. I put his. Um, is that your email? No, that's not it. Brandon at myvirtualsalesforce.com. Dave, uh, uh, Dave, if you want to put it in there, you can. You, everybody, just send me an email if you're interested. I'll talk to you one on one, and and can do it. It's it's uh, b r a n d o n at myvirtualsalesforce.com. All one word. And Dave will put it in the in the box there. You're more than welcome to email me directly. I'll, I'll be more happy to talk with you. Um, it might take me a, a, a day to get back in touch with you because we're just doing this. There's a bunch of people on, but uh, I'll make sure I reach out to every every one of you. Um, just, just if I can have one more minute here, I'll show you this is one of the biggest biggest tools that you can use if you don't know what to share. It's a site called BuzzSumo, B-U-Z-Z-S-U-M-O. All you do is go to it, right? Type in your topic. Hold on a second here. No, you can't do it because I, I took the screen back. Oh, you took the screen back. Okay. All right. Um, when so you, what's what's uh, it well, called? Buzz? Buzz. B-U-Z-Z-S-U-M-O. Buzzsumo.com. Go there. Type in any word. 
that, that you're trying to hit for, it will show you all different types of, of the top content that's shared. You can sort by Facebook. So if you were doing Disney Vacations, you go Disney Vacations in there, and you could see, you could sort by Facebook, and you could see the most, um, the, the, the best article on Facebook that's been shared in the past 24 hours, right? Say that has 14,000 shares. You can grab that article and post it on your page because you know it's popular. So... So do I have your do I have your email right there? Do you see it? Uh, I'm not on there. Hold on one second. Oh, Brandon at myvirtualsalesforce.com. Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm not in that screen. So if you if you have it, you're good. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're you're good. That's okay. correct. Yes. And I think yep. we just have one more question. Okay, that's mentoring. Um, I, I think this is an important question. Uh, this person asks, I have a Facebook business page, but have it set up where people cannot comment. Is this advisable? I, oh, well, my first question, uh, I'd always leave it open for commenting. I, I definitely always leave it open for commenting. Um, if you had a bad experience before because there's some troll or something out there or some people are out there or whatever just, <laughs> just doing it, and it, and, it, and it was months ago. Um, I, maybe give it another try, and if if it doesn't happen again, you know you can you can shut it down. Or if it does start to happen again, you you can shut it down. Most people aren't that malicious to like leave a, a bad comment or something else like that. There are people. This is all in my world, so people are behind a computer. It's not like face to face stuff. So it does take a little bit of tough skin. I cringe. I cringe every morning when I wake up. Like. <laughs> You know, and I'm posting helpful stuff, so um, no, nothing usually comes through. But you just have to understand that people are people. Not everybody's going to like what you share. That's why I always I, I stay away from religion. I stay away from politics. I stay, I stay just business, straight business information, helpful stuff. Um, and I stay out of sticky topics. Yeah, good. Okay, good. And, and did you say that um, BuzzSumo is a way to get articles? Yeah, yep. Okay. Yep. So if you go to buzzsumo, buzzsumo.com and you type in what your topic is, any topic, um, it will show you, it will bring you to the following page and then you'll see every article in um, shared. If you're going to, if you want to go to it now, if you got it here, go here, go to B-U-Z-Z. -Z. You can do one. All right. I got, I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah. And type a topic in here. Type in um, entrepreneur in, in here. Oh, so you had to pick a word I can't spell. Yeah, I, I have P-R. Yeah, I you got, got it. it. Art. Ah, oh. <laughs> Go there. Yeah. And you'll see. And then so on the left, sort by the past 24 hours here. On the All the way on the left. So sort by the past 24 hours. And yeah, you I can did. See, and, yeah. Then, and then click on Facebook engagements. Uh, uh, go up. Uh, to the right, just go right. Right on that 1.1, yeah. Well, I, I got other stuff on my screen. I got to move out of the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What okay. about, where? where? But you, can, you can see the one, the 1.1, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you can see this article in the past 24 hours have been sh has been shared 1.1 thousand times. This is all motivation stuff. Just grab the link, take it, post it to your Facebook page. These are some of the most traffic stuff. This is this is super easy stuff to do. So if, when I say post one to three times a day, right, just go in there and see articles. One or two articles, post them to your Facebook page, and then post one like sales thing or one not sales, but one yeah. one helpful thing about your business. You know, so you always have tons of information, but you want to share what's hot, right? Because Facebook wants Facebook wants people to Facebook wants to share information and get information that's hot that's get that's getting shared right so if you share a dud if you share something they're not going to show it to anybody but if you share something to get some traffic they show it to more people and more people and more people it's like building a snowball okay um, I think we have to stop at this point this, this is uh, yeah. this has been a very 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 good uh, session. A lot of great questions. I think we could go on for another couple of hours. But um, um, in any event, what will happen is this this gets converted to a uh, movie, so to speak. 
I put it on uh, LinkedIn, and then I'll send each everybody a link. Uh, Brandon will work on that one question, which I'm sure he remembers, but I've forgotten already, and I'll share that answer with you as well. Um, all right. And uh, so thanks, ev thank you, everybody. It's been uh, very informative and good participation. And watch your email. The last in the series for digital marketing is in two weeks on a Wednesday, and it deals with uh, building a positive reputation uh, and things you can do in case you get some some negative feedback, etc. Okay, and with that. We're signing off. We're out. Thank you, Brandon. That was a good job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, there's so much in that topic. It's, it's. Yeah. I, I, we didn't even touch the surface. The main thing with Facebook is people need help. That's yeah. one of the biggest things. They don't know because it's so confusing. They just need um, help. So maybe even with Score, maybe we can just Facebook live event at one of these. At a library or something, you know. Yeah, and just yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get some people and just spend maybe set up uh, twenty minute sessions, and I'll just sit there for an afternoon for three hours. You can book your session ahead of time, and you get twenty minutes. You know, you come eleven, eleven twenties, one person to eleven twenty, eleven forty. Book the times in advance. Yeah, yeah, that's an interesting idea. I'll, uh, I'm actually going to write that down. Okay, yeah. thanks a lot, Brandon. Good yeah. job. Um, All right, cool, man. We're we're out. All right, I'll talk to you. Thanks. Yep.